Hey guys, so I realized that I'm making more videos more often. Let me know if you guys like that. Um, still kind of random because I tend to just make videos when I'm inspired or when something catches my eye that I want to talk about. I'm not really a current events type of person unless it pertains to something that I'm passionate about. Um, so let me know what you guys think. Um, do you like hearing from me more often? Um, do you mind that it's not really on a schedule? Um, I do recommend if you enjoy my videos to subscribe. I normally tell you to do that at the end because I don't want to presume that you're gonna like a video at the beginning until you've actually heard from me, but it was just worth mentioning. So today I wanted to talk about something I heard about a few days ago. Uh, and I meant to do a video about this and then ended up forgetting and just thought about it. So here I am. So you've probably heard by now, especially if you're into things that I talk about on this channel, about Shannon Heroics. I, I know I'm butchering that name. It's probably Shannon Hero because for a French name, you take out the O-U-X at the end. So I know I'm butchering it. Um, the only reason I know that is because of Blanche Devereaux on the Golden Girls. But anyway, I digress. So Shannon was at a Dunkin' Donuts and she hears by the use of a hearing aid. I don't wanna butcher and say, you know, deaf or hard of hearing. You know, I personally don't mind what you call me, but for the purpose of this video, I really don't want to offend anybody um, because the message is what's important and I don't want it to get lost. Though it is a controversial topic right now, so that might offend somebody anyway, but that part I don't care about. What's, if my stance on the whole ordeal offends anybody. So, Shannon, she was in Dunkin' Donuts. It's escaping me where this was. I know the United States, but I don't know what state. Um, and she was refused service and they were not very nice to her because they refused to take off their mask. And she hears with an implant that she just didn't happen to have with her. First of all, we've really lost our humanity with how rude people are to each other about everything, but specifically the fear surrounding and whether or not you have one. If you're that afraid, if you're gonna be that much an asshole, stay home as much as you can. And going to Dunkin' Donuts is one of those times you can go through the drive-thru if you're that afraid. But if you're working there, if you're in the service industry and you're gonna be that rude to a customer who is trying to explain that they can't hear you and they can't read your lips. There are medical exemptions for everything and this should be one of them. The flu is contagious. You don't see people going that crazy over that. I mean, I know that's the deeper issue here, but I just think it's, you can't ignore the discrimination here. And I know that her video went viral. She heard from corporate and they tried to make it right. But it shouldn't have happened at all. And it shouldn't happen anywhere. I would love to assume that 
this is gonna be a learning experience for all companies as it pertains to people with disabilities, but it's not gonna, let's be real. There should be medical exemptions for everything because no one body is the same. And like I said, the more important part is being that rude about it and in the moment not doing anything for her, which is when it should have been done, somebody else immediately should have stepped in and rectified the situation. And how many people does this happen to that don't go viral? I mean, it's sad that people are afraid now only because somebody has a platform. And honestly, I don't think she did until she posted that video. And I'm glad she does because she has not only a story about this, but a story of her life overall. And it should be a learning experience, but it shouldn't come to that. You know, I, I don't, I'm one to always say I don't expect anybody to understand my plight in life or anybody's plight in life. And, you know, I'm all about push through, overcome. But when we've overall lost humanity and the basic decency to be nice to somebody and understanding and automatically freak out, even if it's in anger, that there's fear below. I just think it's disgusting that she had to go through that, that there's people all over who probably don't go viral. We don't hear about it. They just accept it and move on, which they shouldn't. And it shouldn't go lost on anybody how often this probably happens. Whether it's the physical inaccessibility of a place or somebody just being a dick and not accommodating somebody with a disability. We have to come together eventually and love each other and help each other and not be so afraid of each other anymore because the deeper, deeper issue is that that's what they want. All of this separation is just convenient and things are being used to perpetuate it. And things like this are allowing it to happen and be that way. And it's very sad. That's why I speak out and why I advocate for people with disabilities to just go out and do things like Shannon was trying to do. Be independent, you know, put yourself out there. I'm not saying, you know, even online, but in the world. And if you don't have a disability, I hope that especially if you own some type of business, you're mindful that people with disabilities have a life and want a life. And I'm not saying we all have to be kumbaya, accepting of everybody and all, everything is all flower colored, whatever. But open your doors, be accommodating. At the end of the day, if all it does is help you get a customer and help make their day better, you both win. You don't have to be best friends. You just, you get an extra customer. I don't understand. There, there's so many reasons why people should just stop the division. And I mean, number one is because they, they want it. So my competitive ass is like, yeah, screw you. I, I'm trying to unite with everybody and 
Yeah, we're not letting them win. But deeper than that is we all need each other. This has been one of the more isolating years for a lot of people and things like that isolate further. They divide further. And that's not fair. I know life's not fair, but we could do better, okay? That's all I wanted to say. Um, if Shannon's video is still up, because you know how they censor things these days, I will link it in the comments. Uh, go show her some love. Um, I hope every Dunkin' Donuts on the planet reaches out to her and sends her coupons for life or something. Uh, subscribe to the channel. If you like this video, share it, you know, to raise awareness. And I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.